have we missed over the last 20, 30 years in all our discussions on health, have we missed a big part, a big piece in the jigsaw? Could our exposure to light potentially be more important than the food that we eat? Our biology is kind of set up to work with this 24 hour cycle of light and darkness. And if you, if you mess with that, things start to happen to, first of all, to these circadian rhythms, so these 24-hour fluctuations in our biology. So if you're exposed to light at night, one thing that does is it pushes your circadian rhythms later. That's not necessarily a bad thing unless you have to wake up to go to work or school the next morning. And if you're kind of seeing light late at night and your, your circadian rhythms are being pushed later, that means the time when you feel sleepy and want to go to sleep is pushed late, later. So you potentially get less sleep. And if you get less sleep, that's going to have an impact on your alertness, on your mental functioning, on your mood. But it's more than that because bright light is also a kind of brain stimulant. It, it boosts your alertness. So if you see light late at night, you're going to feel more awake. But also if you don't see light in the daytime, you're going to feel more sluggish and, and less alert. And there are increasingly studies showing that bright light actually, it literally wakes us up. So, you know, we now spend 90% of our daytimes indoors where the light levels are like an order of magnitude lower than they are outdoors. Today is kind of gray and rainy and gloomy. Luminance or, or brightness is measured in this unit called lux. And on a day like today, it's about 5,000 lux outside. On a bright, sunny day in the middle of summer, it could be as high as 100,000 lux outside. But indoors, in the kind of standard office, it might be two to 300 lux. So it's, you know, it's hugely dimmer inside than it is outside. So even, even on a cloudy day, even on a cloudy we day. have evolved to actually have at least five, 10,000 lux of light exposure to our, you know, through our eyes into our body. Yet, you know, for many of us living our, these 90% indoor lifestyles now, we might be getting only two, 300 lux. So what is the implication of that? What does that mean for us? Well, okay. So, so light can influence the timing of those circadian rhythms. Um, it can also influence the amplitude of how of of those rhythms. So how kind of high the peaks are and low the troughs are. So what you see in people who don't get outside much, and particularly this has been studied in hospital patients, and and people as they as they age, so elderly pa patients in care homes, their circadian rhythms kind of flatten. So there's less difference between nighttime and daytime in their biology, and that is linked to um, poorer health. So things like depression increased risk of dementia, that sort of thing. This is not just, hey, a bit of light in the day. This is actually changing our biology. 